You may have seen on social media today the announcement that I have signed with a new partner which is ASICS of course and in this video I'm going to tell you all about it. So last year was obviously the first year kind of back to racing after quite a big break in 2020. In 2021, I really wanted to try and find the perfect running shoe. I'd kind of found over the years I'd run in various different shoes and had some different issues with them and I was always hesitant to sign with a shoe sponsor unless I was 100% confident in the shoe that I was wearing. And last year kind of gave me the time to try some different shoes and it was quite early on into the season that I started trying out the ASICS shoe. I was running in the Metaspeed Sky and I just felt really, really stable in the shoe. Having run in other carbon shoes before, I felt really kind of unbalanced and, and even on my feet, rolled my ankle quite a few times and I just really found that in the ASICS shoe I felt super stable, I was able to run some of the best runs that I've done whilst feeling very in control, having no niggles the whole year. It kind of just gave me a lot of confidence in the shoe so I knew that if there was the chance then ASICS would definitely be the partner I would love to partner with going forward in the future with my triathlon career. So ASICS reached out to me at the back end of last year saying that they were interested in partnering with me and obviously I had a huge amount of confidence in the shoe having run in it nearly the entire year last year. I also had a couple of other shoe companies reach out to me but ASICS was always the one that I had the most confidence in having run in it all year. I was hesitant to just start running in a different shoe so I was quite confident that ASICS was the one and as it turns out ASICS was the company that I decided to go with. The people that I spoke to from the company were just super friendly, had a lot of faith in me, and I felt like they were definitely a brand that I wanted to partner with going forward. Good morning, everyone. So today, Reese and I are heading into London. We are gonna be meeting with one of our new sponsors for 2022. We are super excited. We are gonna be heading to their store in London to go and get some new swag. Um, and we are over the moon to be partnering with this new sponsor, so stay tuned. So Reese and I actually headed into London, we went to their flagship store and we kind of just got to have a look around. It was really like two kids in the sweet shop, having a look at all the kit, trying different things on. I literally went into the changing room with so much stuff. I knew that we were heading away on a training camp, so I wanted to be kitted out in the right kit for any of the media that we might be doing. So yeah, we really were having quite a blast in there, just trying everything on, having a feel for the different shoes, because obviously I'd run in the Metaspeed Sky, but I hadn't run in really any of their other shoes. So it was really exciting to have a feel for like their trail shoe, their more off-road shoe, their more supportive training shoe. I remember actually sweating trying on different outfits, trying to try so many different things on. So yeah, again, a really good day and a great feel for the company that we were going into partnership with. Literally like any athlete's dream is to just go into a sports store and pick out what you want. So that was a really, really cool day that kind of set us up really well with a lot of kit to start the year and to start our training. So if you've been following our YouTube videos, you will know that unfortunately, a few weeks back, I was diagnosed with a stress fracture in my femoral neck. So 
for any athlete, this is like the worst case is to get injured. You have to let all of your partners and sponsors know the situation as soon as possible. So there was a huge kind of, I don't know, I was nervous to tell Essex because obviously we hadn't announced to the world that I was going to be working with them. I'd obviously signed the dotted line to partner with them, but no one knew that I had joined partners with Essex. So I wasn't really sure what their response was going to be. I haven't raced for them yet. so. There was definitely a nervousness there, but I honestly could not believe the support that I've had from the brand already. Like, they understand that I will mend from this injury. I mean, unless I do something absolutely stupid, this is not a career ending injury, this will mend. I will come back just as strong, if not stronger from this injury. So it was amazing to have them on board with that. And actually for a company to sign with me when I was at my absolute lowest, on crutches, not even able to run, just meant so much that they have that much faith in me. Yeah, so I just felt so much love from the company from the very beginning. They're on board with that journey that you know what, they've signed with me and I'm at the bottom and I can't run. I have every intention to be back winning races and being the best of my game, if not better. So yeah, it's just amazing to have those people supporting me on this journey. We've just got a special parcel, I think. I thought it was just some shoes, but let's have a look. To Lucy, wishing you a speedy recovery. We hope the content of this small care package will keep your mind sound until your body has healed and your legs are ready to help you explore the world again. The ASICS team. And what have we got? Oh wow, the little book of running, inspirational words. Cute. Then we have... <laughs> I think they probably saw these in the pain cave on my bike computer desk, or bike wahoo desk. How to make your dog famous. <laughs> a guide to social media and beyond. Do you want to read this one? Do you want to read this? Jess, you want to be famous? He wants to be famous, pause up. And a new hoodie. Oh, this looks really nice. Very nice. Well, that's very nice. Okay, find your angle. <laughs> this one. <laughs> Lean into your quirks. Craft a signature that humanise your dog. <laughs> She's like, oh God, here we go. Find your voice, dress up. There we go, Tika. <laughs> So by having the amazing support of ASICS, it's just given me even more motivation to just get back to being the best athlete I can be. And I'm not going to rush it actually for that reason as well. Like they have no time pressure on me to be back racing within a month, two months. They are just like, take your time, do this properly, come back stronger than you were before. And they know I've got a long career in this sport. Like I'm still fairly young in this sport. I feel like I've got loads of time left as much as I want to be winning races tomorrow I have got to be patient and that's the biggest thing that this injury has taught me is patience as much as I want to be back running tomorrow I know that actually even when this injury starts to get better that going straight out and running isn't going to be how it's going to work it's not going to be the answer so yeah they're on board with that journey and together hopefully we'll be back winning titles <laughs>